hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i edit my thumbnails so first you want to go on google and you want to find a background that you're comfortable with i wanted to use a solid pink background so i'm going to search for that then i'm going to save it to my gallery I'm then going to be searching for the logos of the apps that I'm going to be using, which are Fonto, Superimpose X, and the Eraser app. So the first app that we're going to be using is the eraser app you're going to add your photo from your gallery that you want to use in the thumbnail and this is the photo i choose then i'm going to erase the background i like to change it to black so i can see what i'm doing i'm going to click target area then i'm going to remove the background I'm now switching to erase so I can use a smaller brush to erase the remainder of the background. And now you're going to select done and then you're going to select save to your gallery. On to the second app that we're going to be using which is Superimpose X. You're going to click new and you're going to select the background that you downloaded from Google. Select the size for the thumbnail. Then you're going to click the plus sign and add a photo layer. And you're going to add the photo that you erased the background from you're going to click transform so you can adjust the size of the photo and you can move it around on the screen next you're going to click editor then you're going to select tools and you're going to scroll across and select mask outline so I did it the first time and I realized I still had some white line so I readjusted the photo then I selected editor scroll across to tools and then scroll across to mask outline once you are satisfied with your mask outline or your photo, you're going to screenshot it. I'll tell you why in a second. So you screenshot it and you adjust it to remove all the unwanted parts. Okay, so the reason why we screenshot is because when you click to mask the outline, it's going to ask you to pay. But yeah, we're not, we don't have to do that when there's an easier way. Now moving on to our next app, which is Fonto. You are going to import your photo that you just masked and then you're going to add your text and add your logos I'm now going to click on style because I want to change the color of the text and I want to change the stroke of the te text. So I'm going to change the color to a lighter pink, then I'm going to go over to stroke and then I'm going to change it to white and then I'm going to um, increase the width because I wanted to have a thicker outline. I'm going to increase the size and then if you slide over you're going to see curve and then you can curve the text
Now we're going to be adding the logos and the text. So on the bottom left hand corner, we're going to click and add image. Now I'm going to save my image because I'm all done. And there you have it guys, that's how I edit my thumbnails. Thanks for watching, bye!